<laughs> I don't think they look that good when they left the factory. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Right then, so this is the Vanden Plaza owner, Andy, Andy Perman. Hello. Hi oh, right, mate. So, tell us a little bit about the car. So how long have you had it? Uh, I've had this just over four years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, Vanden Plaza 1500 Mark II Auto. Yeah. Um, based on the Allegro, but they were never ever marketed as Allegros. Only ever known as Vanden Plaza 1500s. And they sold through the same dealerships? Um, they all went through the Kingsbury Works mm -hmm. and then went nationwide. Okay. So there was, yeah, there wasn't a particular dealership that dealt with them. Right. Uh, yeah. But I would, they were intended for a niche market. Some tight headmasters, bank managers. <laughs> yeah. Those ones that couldn't quite afford the Jag, but it gave a big car feel inside a little car. Excellent. That was, that was the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And they sold well. They sold around 11,000 of them. As many as that? Yep. Uh, they sold very few Mark 1s, they only made them for about 9 months and then they switched to this production, Mark 2. Main reason being is that they didn't put the picnic tables in the Mark 1 <laughs> and customers didn't like it because they'd had the 1300 versions, predecessor, yeah, and which had the picnic tables and all the earlier Van den Plaat variants had had picnic tables Gotcha. and the Allegro didn't because the legroom was too small. So they made some fairly major modifications. They moved the whole bulkhead back. So it created another three or four inches of legroom. And then they could put the picnic tables in. Brilliant. And then they stayed for the rest of production. So is this a rescue or a per straight purchase? This was a rescue. Uh, I'd seen it about 10 years ago in my local garage, um, owned locally by someone else. Yeah. And then four years ago, I got a phone call from my local garage uh, to say the guy had crashed it and he was going to get rid of it basically okay uh so garage phoned me and asked if i'd like to rescue it being as i've already got an, an earlier mark one and a bit of an enthusiast <laughs> yeah so uh i went down and did the deal with the guy managed to get hold of the car it was badly damaged in the rear Let's see if we can have a quick look at that oh yes that's a fair old crunch there yeah so went into a body shop so it's been Crash repaired down here has, has all been repaired. It's been repainted, not quite in its original colour. Mm -hmm. This is in Zenon. It's a beautiful which, colour. Which is the closest they could get in a modern paint. It's actually a Land Rover colour. Is it? It's, but it's very close to the original colour, but I love it. it. Yeah, it suits it down to the ground. Yeah. So what work have you had to have done in the four years you've owned it? Well, obviously all the body work. Um, the gearbox had an interesting fault. Uh, which I didn't know about until I started driving it. Yeah. Uh, just kept dropping out of top gear all the time once it got warm. Mm -hmm. So I went to a specialist uh, and explained what was happening. And he said to me, well, that's not your gearbox. It's something else. Leave it with me. She did. Uh, he phoned me up the following afternoon, said, all done. And it was the governor. Right. I wasn't quite driving the gearbox properly. So it was dropping out of top gear, probably since the factory. It's not done that many miles. And he said it was probably all right for the first 20,000 and then it stopped working. And then it stopped working. So he set it up and it does drive beautifully, way better than the other Mark 1 that I've got. It does go really well on our tours. It Perfect. does, yeah, it does. Uh, so it's had some gearbox work. Um, it's got new brakes all round, stainless steel pistons in the calipers. 
uh, new wheel bearings all rounds. You've had the suspension done on this one? Suspension's been done by the Kennedys, yep, so it's all been regassed. Yeah. So it has that lovely magic carpet ride. Uh, it's got uprated lights. Um, it's got a inductive ignition, uh, electronic ignition on it. Yeah. Just just purely for reliability. I mean, it does run and sound beautiful. Fair play. Yeah. Okay, mate. Thanks for sharing that with us. No problem at all. Enjoy. <laughs>
<laughs> no, it's nice though. Probably guys worked hard on the Porsche all weekend, haven't they? They've worked hard on the car all weekend.